good morning students of class 5 so today we are going to learn creatures of the dark so that's a poem in page number 117 here this this uh, poem is a very fun poem which takes us to where to an imaginary world okay you have to imagine the world of creatures creatures means wild animals that roam around in the darkness so where do they roam about in the dark so you have to imagine yourselves in a dark place in a dark forest where there are hundreds of animals surrounding you so notice he, uh, how the poet uses words of words for sounds and sights means how the poet uses here the sounds the sights uh, to create very detailed vibrant images so how the poet takes us into that forest with the wild creatures and tells us to imagine the sounds and sights that we see that we can basically see by reading this poem so follow it in the darkest of dark on black moonless nights far far away from the bright city lights so in the darkest of dark means kale khane bahut hi andhere mein on bar, on black moonless nights when there is no moon in this in the night in the sky so far far away even the city lights are also not coming so the strangest of beings emerge from their holes so that is the ideal time for the wild creatures to come out okay they emerge emerge means they come out from their holes or from their den or from there where they live not witches not warlocks not badgers not moles so these animals are not witches these animals are not warlocks warlocks are persons with imagine with uh, these are what should i say in the means um, magical persons okay they they have magical things with them they are um, they have magical powers okay so this warlocks no witches it's a female magicians are called witches not badgers badgers are animals small animals and moles are tiny animals okay so no uh, no badgers no uh, moles so this kind of animals no so imagine the most fantastic of creatures now make it weirder add wild crazy features so the poet is asking us to add uh, create our own uh, create our own animal create our own creature which looks weird which looks little what weird that is not that is not uh, like what we see in the dark something weird so how bright purple ears so poet is telling us that you will think of bright purple ears and sharp pointed horns so they have what they have bright purple ears and sharp pointed horns green eyed monsters covered in thorns so what the poetess is asking us to imagine she is asking us to imagine that its ear will be bright color his horns will be sharply pointed and the monster's eye will be green green in color which uh, which which will be covered in thorns mm. then walk through the jungle in the shadowy light so the poet is, is asking us to walk through the jungle in that shadowy light in that dark light you will find tiny footprints created at night so what we will find walking through there we will find tiny footprints created at night in that particular area where we will walk turn quickly so poet ghumne ke liye keh raha hai piche muro you will see something dark in the trees to tumko kya dekhne ko milega you will see something dark in the trees tread softly you will hear a small voice in the breeze so if you walk softly and you will hear what small voice in the breeze so this is the 
airy wind means something very spooky something which is frightening tumko dar lagega is breeze se is wind se so the fruit pains the darkness a shiver down your spine so tum ye sab dekhne ke baad tumko kya hoga you will shiver tum kaap uthoge you will shiver with your spine tumhara backbone kaap uthega the glimpse of a shadow the echo of a wind so what we will see the glimpse of a shadow and glimpse matlab kya hai ek jhalak tum kya dekhoge ek shadow nikal ke aake is और एक ऑफ अ वाइन कोई चिल्ला रहा है फॉरेस्ट पे या कोई डार्क प्लेस पे कोई तुमको बुला रहा है तुम कोई चिल्ला रहा है इज समवन इज कॉलिंग यू दैट्स ऑल यू विल फाइंड फॉर क्रिएचर सो मॉल सो दैट्स ऑल यू विल गेट दिज आर ऑल द स्पूकी थिंग्स और द फ्राइटनिंग थिंग्स दैट्स ऑल यू विल गेट वेन यू विल बी इन दैट डार्क वर्ल्ड only some only come out if there are no lights at all so come out from the dark place the poet poetess is also advising us to come out from that place if there are no lights at all okay we will do the comprehension exercise very soon so i hope it's a very easy poem listen to it carefully you'll be able to understand thank you bye bye